Hello, this is Mira from Alaya Pilates. This is a pre-Pilates class. Then in this class, we'll be doing a modified traditional fundamental Pilates exercises to give you a good foundation before you jump into the fundamental series. This is a perfect class for absolute beginners. However, it's not suitable for mothers who are postnatal or if you have a diastasis recti. So let's begin. We're going to start with breathing exercises, okay? So let's place your hands on each side of the rib cage. So we call this a lateral breathing. I want you to take an in breath. Think about expanding the ribs sideways. And as you exhale, allow that ribs to deflate. Again, in breath. And an exhale. So you're feeling the expansion of the rib cage sideways. And an exhale, you're feeling the deflation of the rib cage inward. We'll do two more like that. Inhaling, imagining the arms expanding. Exhale. One more. Inhaling. Exhale and let it go for a second. Now I want you to change the position of sitting like so. You can do it in a sort of a diamond like position here or even cross leg and that's fine. All right, so let's do cross leg actually. Change my mind, sorry. Now I want you to place your hands like a prayer in front of you. So what you're going to do as you inhale, all right, you wanna think about the ribs again expanding. You feel like you have wings floating, expanding to the side. Now as you exhale, I want you to press the hands toward each other. And then what's gonna happen, think about the pelvic floor lifting up like an elevator, drawing the front abdominal wall towards the belly button, but try to keep your spine nice and tall. Again, inhale, breathing, expanding, exhale, pressing the hands, drawing the pelvic floor up, drawing the abdominal muscle into the center, to the belly button, and an inhale. So we're doing a transverse abdominal connection here. And an exhale, pressing your hands, lifting up the pelvic floor, scooping in that belly, keeping the spine tall. And let's go three more, inhale. Exhale, press the hands, lift up the spine, drawing the abs in. Let's go two more, inhale. Exhale. And inhale, last one. And exhale. Good job. Okay, let it go. So now we're going to go on to our back here. So we call it the supine position. So I want you to have the feet hip width apart. Okay, and now keeping the arms long, opening up the chest, try to bring your pelvis into a neutral position. So what it is, so you have the front two hip bone here, we we'll call it the ASIS, right, anterior superior iliac crest, and then you have the pubic bone right underneath. Now if you draw a line from the right ASIS to the left, and into the pubic bone and connect them together, you create a triangle shape. So I want you to just, you know, rock the pelvis gently and I want you to just gradually stop the rocking and stay into what is your neutral position. All right, you want to get the triangle as horizontal as possible to the ground, okay? As possible, you know, you don't have to be perfect, but just where you feel comfortable with your lower back and in your, with your pelvis too. Okay, so, right, taking your arms down by the side, we're gonna do that lateral breathing again here. We're gonna inhale, opening the ribs sideways, and then exhale, we need to draw that pelvic floor muscle up like an elevator, and then drawing the abdominal wall in towards the belly button 
And now while you're doing this, you want to keep the boned position alone. So which means no rocking, okay? No arching, just leave them alone. It's an internal drawing in and drawing up. Okay, so inhaling, rib cage expansion. Exhaling, pelvic floor muscle up, drawing the abdominal muscle in towards the belly button. Keep the pelvis alone, keep the spine alone. And then again, inhale, exhale. And then inhale, exhale. So no rocking, just internal drawing up and drawing into the belly button. And one more time, inhale, and exhale. And now we're gonna add the pelvic rock. So exhale, draw the belly in and pelvic floor up. And then you're going to imprint the lower back. So sink the lower back down, the pelvis will come off the floor. And then we're gonna rock it back to the neutral position. And then exhale, drawing the pelvic floor, rocking the pelvis and imprint the lower back. The bottom comes off and an inhale, lengthen back down again. And exhale, drawing the pelvic floor, abdominal in, rock the pelvis, press the lower back down. Now take care that your knees do not split out to the side, still keep the inner thigh connection. And an inhale, let's do two more. Exhale, we're just gonna try to mobilize the pelvis here. And an inhale, back to the neutral. And last one, rocking, sinking the lower back, keep the lower back soft on the ground, and then release. Okay, now we're going to onto our pelvic clock. So into the pelvic rock, imprint the lower back down. Now we're gonna go to the right. We're gonna bring the right hip down to the floor, and then your tailbone down to the floor, and then the left hip bone. Lower back on the floor, right hip bone, tailbone. You arch your back here, left hip bone and a lower back, right hip bone, arch, left hip bone, and back. So you're making a circular movement with the pelvis. Okay, so we've got tailbone, left hip down, lower back, one more time, right hip, tailbone, left hip down, lower back, and come back to neutral. All right, let's go the other way. Drawing the pelvic floor up, belly in, lower back down. Now we're gonna go to the left, arch, tailbone down, and then right. Lower back, left, tailbone down, and right. Lower back, left, tailbone down, and right. Lower back, left hip, tailbone, right hip. Two more, back, left hip, tailbone, right hip. Keep your thighs quiet here, meaning they're not rotating with you. One more. Okay, back to center, back to your neutral position. If there's a gap in the lower back when you put your pelvis in neutral position, that's okay, okay? Because that is your neutral spine position. So you don't want to press the lower back down. Okay, now we're going to onto our pelvic curl. So we scoop the belly in, pelvic floor up, rock the pelvis, imprint the lower back. Then we're going to take the pelvis up, peeling the spine off the floor, one vertebra at the time. Now coming onto the bridge position here. Now taking care that your thighs are still drawing forward towards the knee. So your hamstrings are holding it, okay? Your inner thigh are still parallel with each other, okay? Your ribs are not pushing out, flaring out. Keep the ribs connected to your belly button. You wanna create a straight line from the shoulder to your knees. So what we can do, place your arms on top of your thigh. We need to press the hips up a little bit more, creating one straight line. We take the arms down and then we exhale, we roll the spine. So articulating like a little massage off the back and then bring the pelvis back to neutral and then repeat again, drawing the pelvic floor up, rocking the pelvis, we're gonna peel the spine up onto that bridge. Inhale, 
exhale, roll it down. Now when you think about like a wave, right? The spine is waving down and back to neutral. And an exhale, rock the pelvis. The spine is waving up, lifting up, reaching up towards the toes. And an exhale to roll it down again. And then release back to the neutral. Let's do it again. Exhale, scooping in, rock the pelvis. Bring the pelvis up to the bridge. Inhale. And exhale. Rolling back. Rolling back. And then release one more time. Exhale. Peeling the spine up. Working the inner thigh. Don't squeeze your glute too much. And then roll it down as you exhale again. And then release back to the neutral. Well done here. Okay, bringing the legs together, squeezing them like as though you're wearing a pencil curt. Okay, now take your arms out to the T position here. If you don't have space at home, you can also bend the elbows like so. If you have space, please go ahead and stretch your arms, okay? Now here, your legs are one unit. Imagine you only have one leg. We're going to rotate towards me, spinning from the waist, okay? Exhale, come back. So don't initiate the twist from your thigh, but from the axis of the spine, which is your spine, your trunk, over to the other side, to the back of the room. Exhale, back with the center. Inhale, over to the front of the room. Exhale, center. And then to the back of the room, inhale. Exhale, center. And then to the front of the room. And then exhale, taking care that your knees are still next to each other. Don't let them swipe again brush against each other, okay? Keep them one unit. One more, inhale. You're feeling, we're warming up the oblique muscle here. And exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale, back to the middle. Bringing your arms to the side of your body. Now from here, I want you to keep the pelvis and the spine stable here. So do not rock the pelvis. I want you to draw that pelvic floor muscle up wrapping the waistline in. We're gonna take the front leg up to the tabletop, which is my left leg here, okay? Now, keeping absolute stability of the pelvis, we lower the foot down as you inhale. Exhale, folding at the hip, bringing the leg up to a tabletop position. Inhale, moving from the hip. Exhale, folding at the hip. Now at tabletop, you wanna get the shin bone parallel with the ground. Inhale down, exhale, stabilize the pelvis, inhale, down, exhale, and two more, down, exhale, one more, down, exhale, stay, stretch the other leg on the floor, stretch it out, hold, keep the pelvis stable again now what we're going to do is some circular movement with the left thigh we're going to bring it in across the body towards you and away and we're going to inhale one round and exhale now counterbalance with the opposite hip so that you can stabilize the pelvis you can use a tactile pressing of the arm of the hand on the opposite hip. So pelvis is stable as you move the leg in a circular motion. Keep breathing, inhale, one more set here. And then exhale, back to the middle and the other way to the outside and then across one. And again, in breath and again. Exhale, and in breath, and exhale, and in breath, and exhale. Do your best to stabilize the pelvis. One more, in breath, and exhale. Hold, grab the shin, grab the knee, pull that thigh close to your chest. 
just a quick compression stretch inhaling exhale press a little deeper stretch the opposite leg away from you and then bring that foot back down all right bringing the right foot in let's go to the other side so stabilizing the pelvis staying in neutral position as much as you can drawing the abdominal in we're going to take the right leg up as you breathe out to your tabletop position we inhale tap we exhale and movement at the hip not at the knee so you're not stretching and bending the knee okay hip lowering and up leg lowering from the hip and lifting up and in breath exhale and in breath exhale two more in breath exhale last one stabilize the pelvis exhale hold stretch the left leg on the floor keep the pelvis even left and right we're going to go across the body down and away and an and and away and an and out and exhale one round and an inhale I just realized I did the opposite direction the other leg. That's okay, guys. We're still doing circular movement. And then two more. And then one more. And the other way. Outer, down, and cross one. And an in breath. Stabilize the pelvis. Exhale. You can even hold your hands on the hip to make sure they are rock solid. And we got two more inhale and then exhale back to center hold grab the shin pull the thigh towards your chest stretching the opposite leg long on the floor we inhale exhale compress compress bring the foot back bend the knee all right, now arms long by the side, let's take it further. We take the first leg up to the tabletop as you breathe out. And then take another breath, stabilize the belly and bring the leg up. Do not jolt the abdominal wall out. Okay, keep this center active. Okay, we're gonna take the first leg down. We're gonna do leg changes. Exhale, the other leg, right leg, exhale inhale exhale a good imagery you can use while doing this is imagine you have a pot of hot tea on your pelvis resting on the pelvis resting on the lower abs here okay so as you move the leg up and down you want to keep the abdominal contracted in all the time so that the pelvis, so that the pot stays nice and stable you don't want hot tea spilling all over your body okay and bring it up and again down and bring it up one more each side and bring it up and the last one good lower the left foot down keep the right one up okay taking the left hand on the right thigh so I want you to think about pushing the thigh towards your hand but at the same time your hand pushing the thigh away so take an inhale lateral breathing exhale press thigh and hand towards each other drawing the abdominal in so we're working your obliques here stay three two one release okay two more time breath out press the thigh press your hand holding three two one and release one more time breathe out pressing keep the pelvis in neutral and i'm pressing your hand to your thigh tie to your hand three two one release lower the foot down okay other leg bring the left leg up Whoop, draw the center in don't rock the pelvis right hand left thigh breathe out press holding three two one and release again breathe out pressing pressing push 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 and release you're gonna feel the obliques working okay exhale pressing i want you to not push the belly out when you do this but draw the belly into your spine and pressing pressing three two one 
and release. Brilliant. Okay, moving on. We take one leg up. Hold the center, second leg up. Now this time, both hands both on both thighs. All right, shall we? We'll push, breathe out. Press, press, press. And release. Two more times. Exhale. Press, press, press. And release. Last one. Exhale. Press, press, press. Release. Good job. One foot goes down. Second one comes down. Bringing the hands interlace at the back of your head. You want to place your hands on the base of your skull, of your head. Okay, the elbows comes off the floor a little bit. And now from here, as you breathe out, I want you to bring this two rib cage girdle on each side, slide them down towards the belly button to initiate the chest lift movement. So we breathe out, release the ribs, and then flex the upper chest up, looking forward, grab your hands and the underneath thighs, help yourself up a little bit more, hold, hands return to the back of your head, and then come down. Breath out, slide the rib cage, flex the spine, arms, and lift up, hands, and return. Two more, exhale, flex, arms, inhale, and lift, arms back, and return. One more, exhale, slide the ribs, lift the chest, flex the upper body, arms, lift, 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 and arms come back down. Now I need to move your feet a little bit more forward here. So the angle underneath the knee is greater. So we exhale, we come up again. We lift the arms to your underneath thighs, hold. Now I need to really scoop that belly in. Think about you scooping a fresh top of ice cream. Draw the shoulders down, pull the belly in, inhale, exhale, bring yourself up. Curl it up, curl it up, curl it up, curl it up, and lift. Good job. Okay, now adjust the pelvis. Nice and tall here. So you want to feel that your sitting bones, the, the bones underneath your bottom, is anchored vertically down to the ground. And I want you to lift the spine up away from the gravity, as tall as you can, okay? We're gonna fight the gravity here. And then what you're going to do, let's do the pelvic rock. So as you breathe out, rock the pelvis, don't slash the upper back, rock the pelvis, and then that motion will just keep going until your arms are straight. In breath, exhale, coming over your hips, and I will lift tall. Again, exhale, rock the pelvis. So I'm saying rock the pelvis, not slash the lower back. Rock the pelvis so your tailbone goes underneath you, and then you're gonna keep moving until your arms are straight. Inhale, exhale, over, and then we'll lift. Two more. Exhale, rock the pelvis. Can you keep your spine pulling away from the gravity still, going up? And exhale, over. We'll lift. One more time. Exhale, rock the pelvis, stretch your arms long. Inhale, exhale, over, and then lift. Beautiful work. Okay, moving on. Straighten both legs. All right, bring them slightly wider than your pelvis. Okay, now your spine is nice and tall. If you have issues sitting up tall like this with the front of the hip, you may bend the knees a little bit. Okay, or you can take a cushion and just sit on the cushion. Okay, so long, tall, back okay here we breathe out we articulate the spine down 
forward, inhale, exhale, we roll the spine up, and then we lift up right. Exhale, we articulate down, in breath, exhale, we lift the spine tall. Two more time, exhale, articulate, so rolling forward, inhale, and then exhale, drawing, scooping the arms, scooping the belly, sorry, up tall. One more, and then exhale, in breath, and then exhale, and lift. Now take the arms up to the ceiling for a final stretch, lift, lift, tall, and then release the arms up to the side. Turning your body facing me on the side. Your bottom arm is long, okay? And then I want you to bend the bottom knee so the knee is in front of the hip and straighten the top leg. Take the top hand in front of you. Now we need to push the hand down. As you press down, I want you to draw that transverse abdominus muscle and the pelvic floor. So press the hands down, lift up the spine. So lift up the abdominal wall and lift up the bottom waist, okay? So your spine is straight in the middle. And then release. Two more. Exhale, press the hands, lift the belly. Reach long, pick up the center, and then release. One more. Exhale, press the hands, lift the transverse abdominal muscle, hold. Now I want to keep the position here, stabilize the pelvis, and then lift the leg up and then down. Right, do not rock the pelvis. Keep the waist nice and even from the bottom and the top towards the middle. And again, three more. Pelvis stay stable, two more. Last one, hold, reach the leg, reach the leg, reach the leg, and release. We switch the leg here, so straighten the bottom leg. The top one, we can just drop down to the floor like that, but taking care of you not flopping the body forward, okay? So, stacking the top hip above the bottom one. Same thing again, we press the hand, we lift the bottom ribs and waist and then release. And again, exhale, press, lift the transverse abdominis muscle, and release. One more, press, lift, stick up the pelvis, hold. The bottom leg comes up and down. Bottom leg comes up and down. Press, 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 and down. And three more, lift. Don't sack that spine down. Two more. Left. Last one. Lift, hold, hold, hold. We release. Good job. Bend the knee. Tuck the feet in. Help yourself up. Sit up tall. Reach the bottom arm up to the ceiling. Lifting up the spine and then side bending toward the feet side. Again, lifting up the core, and I want you to keep the spine tall even though you are in a side bend, so we don't want to slouch here. Okay, lift, lift, coming up, and release. Other side, so we repeat. Bottom arm is long. Okay, sorry, bottom leg's bent. Straighten the top leg. Top hand in front of the body here. Press the hands. Lift the waist up. And release. Exhale, press the hand down. I want to lift the pelvic floor, drawing the transverse abdominus muscle. And release. One more. Press, lift, up, hold. Keep the pelvis stable, top leg. And then down, and and then down. Stabilize the pelvis. We're just moving the leg, lifting the leg from the hip joint, not from the waistline. And then down. Three more. Lift. And then down. Two more. Lift. And the last one. Lift. We hold, hold, hold. Release.
this. Okay, switching leg. Bottom leg is straight, top leg forward. Do not let the top hip um, flop down, stack up the pelvis. Okay, now we go pressing. <sighs> Lift that waistline up and down. And pressing. <sighs> Lift, lift, and down. One more pressing. <sighs> Lift, lift, hold. And then bottom leg up and down. And then up and down. And up and down. Pelvis is stable, waistline is inward. One more. And then lift, hold, three, two, one. We release, good job. Bending both knees, tucking the feet in, helping yourself up. Okay, coming up to sit a position and then the bottom arm will come up, elongate the spine tall and a lateral bend, side bending towards the feet side, reaching tall, neck is long, pulling up, pulling up, pulling up, and come back up. We release onto our front. Our final exercise here. Right, so the back extension, your arms are out to the side here, by the side, palms facing in, to the side of your thighs. All right, floating the head off, and we need to draw the lower abs up, reaching the sitting bone down towards the heels, and then we're gonna inhale to lift the spine up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, reach up, up. And exhale, lower. And an inhale, lift. Activate your leg muscle. Pick up the lower abs. Inhale. Again, lift. Up. Exhale. You feel like a shorter blade is just drawing down towards the meat back. And two more. Inhale. Lift. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Lift. And exhale, we lower, good job. Bringing your hands underneath the armpit and I want you to just help yourself push the floor away. Bring the knee in, sit the pelvis down to the heels for your rest position. So stretch the arm long, neck is long. You can rest your head down on the floor if you like. We inhale again, thinking about the back of the wrist expanding sideways. And exhale, uh, deflating. Two more, inhale, exhale. One more, inhale, exhale. Beautiful. And just walk your hand closer to us and just help and roll yourself up to a seated position. Keep drawing the spine tall, relaxing the shoulders down. Good job. All right, thank you. Thank you for joining me on a mat today. That was a pre-Pilates class. Try to do this class a few times and then gain your foundation stronger and then jumping into the beginners and the fundamental series classes. I hope to see you on the mat again. If you have any question or feedback, try write in the comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Have a fantastic day. Thank you.